Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Um, another week's gone by, another week closer to Christmas. Here we are again. Right, before we start this week's um, restoration, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers, old and new. Um, thanks everybody for all your comments. And thanks everybody for watching my videos, that's the main thing. And, um, yeah, this week, um, the restoration, it's one, it's, well, it's, it's going to be uh, a truck, and it's one that's a friend of mine that lives in England, we met a long time ago, in the 80s, and um, at a South Sea military vehicle show. And, um... He sent me a few models, uh, you know, for, my, for me to restore, and um, he sent this particular model and asked me if I'd paint it for him. So that's what I've done. Now I don't normally do this, uh, you know, for other people because <laughs> it's easy when it's for yourself. If something goes wrong, it doesn't matter. But when you're doing it for somebody else, something goes wrong or you really cock it up, then, you know, it's not a good thing. But anyway, this one, it went not too bad. So that's what this video is this week. And what it's going to be, or what it is, is a Siku. I'm not sure you say I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, so a Siku... Magrius Deutz Concrete Mixer and that's number 291 if anybody's interested in numbers um, so yeah that's what it's going to be this week and it, did, it actually didn't go too too bad so um, as I always say please sit back relax enjoy the video see how I got on with this one Okay, now, let's take a closer look at this one. Now, this is one that was sent over to me by a good friend of mine I've known for a long, long time in England. We met at a military vehicle show in South Sea many years ago in the, uh, in the 80s. And uh, we've been good friends ever since I've been over, I've stayed at his house, he's been over and stayed with us when we were on the farm. And, um, you know, we've uh, like both got a love of old vehicles and also these models. And he sent me a few models to restore and he sent this one and asked me if I'd paint it for him. And um, it's not really that bad, um, you know, really, it's borderline whether one would do it or not. But I'm going to do it because he's asked me to do it. And um, it's a Magrius, well, this is Magrius, I suppose that's Deutz, is it? Magrius Deutz. Um... I can't even read that. It's all in blinking German anyway. It's made in Germany. That's why I can't read it. I'm not even going to try. But, um, it's a nice model. Got the jeweled headlights as well. So, I'm going to have a bash at tidying this one up, giving it a repaint. Um, I might have to do this part 
normal green because I can't find that paint in spray cans and I don't want to use my e-gun yet because I haven't tried it so I don't really want to use it on this model obviously because it's not for me it's for somebody else you know my friend so I I don't want to cock it up so I might do it slightly different colour the rest the red I'll do red and, and same with the cab be yellow so we're going to have a bash at this one and uh, see how we get on ok so there's dismantle time for this and there's quite a few rivets there's one for the cab there's two for this part here and there's two for the back part as well and um, I think the wheels are all right. They don't have to come off the axle because it looks like once you got those rivets out or these rivets out, um, everything just comes apart. The axles come out with the wheels on them, which is good. Makes my life easier. Okay, so let's get on with dismantling this one. Right. Okay. Here we go with this one. Right, um, well, I'll undo the cap. Bit of rivet there. So. Drill it gently. I say I don't want to drill too much. I might drill these as well, I might have to get the whole lot out together. It's a much smaller rivet than usual. Do it gently. Ow! Stick the screwdriver through me finger. See, I might just glue those back to be honest because there's not much to drill out and I don't want to bugger it all up. Now that I might have to undo the two halves here of this to get this off of this. I'm not too sure. Oh no, I'll undo these. I'll undo these two rivets here maybe. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can get the rest of this off. Gently does it. Okay, but 
out. Ooh. Trying to go extra careful because this is, like I say, not my model, so. So the long bit goes to the back. So the wheels just lift out, so that's nice. Um, so that'll all just be washed in soapy water. And now this, I'll try and polish this up. Um, if it comes up nice and shiny, well and good. If it doesn't, then I will have to paint it, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Okay, now the cab. She's been the most stubborn. Definitely more stubborn that one. Might have to use a slight bigger drop. Let's have to try this one. Well, she's really been stubborn, this. And this is the part you really got to be careful on. Oh, it doesn't want to go at all. Guess I might have to. Knock everything flying. That's it, I think she's gone. There you go. Right, so that's good. That's all good. Like I say, I will just glue those rivets, I think, back together. That's all good, just needs a clean. Not much of what to clean really because it's all in nice condition. And the window unit, very good as well, just a little bit scratched. Well, I think it might have a little, I don't know if that's a scratch or a crack, I don't know if it goes right through anyway. We'll have a bash at that, sorting that out. That's the only thing really, was well, just small scratches. Okay, so that's for the washing machine, that for the washing machine. Wheels, this for the caustic soda. Now, now, oh, it's got doits on the front. Now, this. I'll try and drill these out. Put the smaller drill back in.
Mmm. Awkward. Right, okay, I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you because otherwise it's going to take too long. Okay, so... Got it. All right, so that's pretty straightforward there. That just slides out of there, so that's cool. I need to uh, I need to undo that. Right, this. Oh, what am I going to do here? You know, I don't think I'm going to undo that because that's going to... Oh, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to have to, and I? I am probably going to have to. I think I'm going to have to undo this here. This rivet. I should be able to put a new one in there. and done. Oh dear. Not easy. Okay, I'm going to have a, a plug away at that and see if I can get it undone. Right, so I've managed to undo that. Um, what was holding it on um, I'll just put it back together what was holding it on this piece here goes on there and that holds it together so then it goes through this and this piece here obviously goes on in there a bit fiddly so Sorry, I keep going away from the camera. So that bit goes in there and that all holds it together. So I'll have to just glue a rivet back in there when I put it back. Okay. So that's that. These bits can go in the caustic soda. I will drill that one out and put a rivet. Might be a smaller one. Um, okay, I might put small rivets in those as well, I'm not sure yet, I'll see. Okay, catch you in a bit. Right, okay, the water's in, boiling water. Now for the caustic soda. There we go. Start to change colour. 
Okay, so you've seen this all before, so... Um, I'll leave that in for a little while. I do have another model to put in actually, so I'm going to do that. And um, next time you see it, it'll be all cleaned up, wire wheeled, and ready for paint. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, that's the um, Magrius Deutz mixer all cleaned up wire wheeled ready for painting. I almost forgot to film this as you can see all the clamps are on ready to go and paint it. Um, I'm probably just going to paint the colour straight on this hopefully see how it goes. Okay, catch you in a bit. Right, so that's all painted up. Um, the green is slightly darker than what was there before, but um, it's not bad. I've polished up the chute, done the cab, done the, the uh, detailing with the volatile pen, do handles. Um, polished that up as best I can. Um, and I've cleaned the window unit up. There's still that little crack that seems to go right through in the corner, but it's hardly anything. So I haven't dipped them in page or dipped it in page. Um, gave the wheels a bit of an old wash. So that's pretty much. I mean, these haven't come up that great, but the tyres will be on them anyway, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much um, put together time, assembly time. Okay, so we can get on with that. Oh, yes, I forgot. There's these two bits up here as well. The old um, mixing barrel, whatever you call it, the mixer pot. Okay. Okay, so assembly time. So we'll just make a bit of space here. So I don't want to damage anything. Right. Now it's going to be a case of remembering what's what. I've put new jewel headlights in there, white ones or clear ones. Um when I was getting the others out, they were yellow, one fell on the floor, and do you think I can find it? I've hunted high and low. So she's got a brand new set of white lights, so. Right. Um, what to do first, I think, put this drum together. Now, I've got, I've got, all the um, rivets I've done, they're all marked so that I know which is which and I can't read my writing there. Huh? Okay, donkey engine base. So I don't want that one. Back axle. Engine cow drum. That's the one I want for this. So I've got to try and get it out. This masking tape now that I've put it into. Oh, gee. All these good ideas I have. Eh? I think I can get the bloody rivet out of the paper now. Never ideas. <laughs> okay, so with this, I'm going to put a bit of glue in these holes as well. So I'm going to use the glue stick this time. 
I'm sorry, I just keep looking the plastic camera. So, let's see if any glue comes out of this or whether it's blocked again. I think it's blocked again. No, it's coming out. Would be do. And it's coming out and going all down the side of my pot now. Okay. So just put a bit of super glue in each of these holes. Get a little bit on there. Get on there. Maybe a little bit on there just in case. And a bit on there. First. Actually, I might put the bit in there and all, ready for the rivet. Okay. Fucking line him up, that is. That's it. And then this rivet. She put a little bit more glue. Oh, okay. I'll put a little bit more glue. Just around there. That should do it. Right. And uh, I'll have to paint that rivet with the red paint. Okay, we'll leave that. We'll leave that to dry. Yeah, we'll leave that to dry over there out of the way. And uh, sorry, my stomach's rumbling, I'm starving. So it's almost tea time. Right. Okay, next bit. Okay, now this little plastic piece fits on there. And you see, it's got these little sort of cutouts. And they go on those two little bits there. So just like that really. Then this piece goes into here like so. And then I need this bit's got to go in there. So that's a bit fiddly. Um, pointy pliers. Little pointy pliers maybe. Um, that way. Bump. So that's got to go in there like so. And then I'm going to have to put a rivet on that. To hold that onto there. So I um, might actually... Put my hand on the glue there. Um, I'll actually put a bit of glue inside there. Let's 
so awkward doing it over the camera. Try and turn that around so you can see it. To make sure that's properly on. So I need to find my other rivet. Oh, hang on a minute. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got that rivet in there. So that's that's all okay now. Now next I need this wheel. Um You know, I'm going to have to check because I can't for the life of me remember which way this goes. don't know if it's that way or that way. So I'm just going to have to check back on my footage. Okie doke, so I just had a look and the longer bit is at the bottom so the longer bit goes down. So what we're going to do is just, that slides up, see there's two grooves, one each side like that, and that slides up, you can see that slides up in there, there, so those two mesh together, that's it. Okay, so that works. Right. Right, then I believe the next piece is this bit here, so that fits on there like so, um, I'll just put a bit of glue, move it so you can see it going out of shot. Put a little bit of glue around there, a little bit on the base, a little bit around there. There, Just a little bit there maybe. Just to make sure. I haven't left anything out of there now. Okay, so that's it. And I've got a couple of rivets to go there, so this is them here. If I can pull that apart. There you go. My two little rivets. Little sh little short ones. Right, so I'll just put a little bit of glue in each of those. Okay. Give me 
money in there. Seems to be okay. Yeah. That turns okay. Right. That's that bit done. Now, this has got to go in there, hasn't it? So, I guess I better put this piece. Hang on, just move that for a sec. I think I've got to put this piece in here. This piece in here. I'm off out of shot again. Right, so I've got to put the... Um, wheels, the back wheels on with that. I'm just going to test with this because that's got to go in there and then that'll have to go on there so I think I'm doing this right. Okay so I've got to put that chute in as well first. So yeah okay so I'll just take this off again. There you go, look. I won't take it right off. Now yeah, this chute's got to go in there. Okay. So we press that on. Right. So I better put these tyres back on yet. That's one. Straightish, straightish. These wheels are a bit wonky. Right, so these wheels, yeah, move it across a bit. Go on there. Like so he says. <laughs> now this piece goes over the top there. So that goes there like that. And then I need my rivets, which is these ones here. Rivets for the back axle. See again if I can get into them. <laughs> Come on, rivets. Come on. Come on, we need you. Run. Two. 
and a bit of super glue. I want that bloody shoot to keep moving around because it's going to chip everything, it's a pain in the tits to be honest. This is where it starts getting a bit tricky. So can't go on first, yeah, I think it's gonna have to, isn't it? Yeah, I think it does. That's gonna make things a bit Difficult to get on, isn't it? Or does it just it'll probably just go in like that actually? Right. I think it should just go in. Cab. You know it won't. The bugger won't. That's going to be awkward. That is going to be awkward. Right, okay. Let's put the windscreen in the cab. Okay, it just drops in. The interior just drops in there, so that's going to hold the windscreen in, hopefully. Hopefully. And then I put the tyres on the front wheels. I've got a horrible feeling I maybe should have put the back on last. Right, oh god I've gone too far with that now. <coughs> that off. This isn't going well. This just isn't going well. Right. I can't put underneath here. Oh 
gold. Put that in there. Right, now let's see if I can get this piece in. Yes, there. Okay, so what I need to do is get all these rivets now. Get all these rivets for this now. Let's come out again. Sod. Right. Okay, get the rivets. Where's the rivets for this? We've got one there and one there. So this is two rivets here if I can undo this. Two rivets here for the back here. Right. So a bit more super duper glue on my pot. I'm going to empty that pot. Right. So I'm going to put a bit in there. Okay, get my rivets. Nope, stick. Nope, stick into my finger, not where I want it to go. Are oh, you? Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Right, and now just my cab rivet, which I've got in yet. So put a bit of super glue in there. It's 
ね。Damn rivets, got a mind of their own. Right, okay, well, that's it. Another model restored. Um, I hope my mate will be happy with this one. So, um, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching this video, and I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please like and subscribe. It'd be very nice, thank you. And um, also, if you have, please join me again next week for another restoration video. Meantime, please stay safe. Look after yourselves and uh, see you again next time. Tara for now. Cheery. Bye.